All right, Thanksgiving is over. December begins in just a few days. You may already feel the pressure. You know, time to get all the gifts for all the people. And if we were honest, we'd say coming up with new ideas is not always easy. And that's why it's exciting to see uh, stores with all kinds of unique treasures inside. You'll find one of those spots in Cambridge. Every inch of Craven's comic books and collectibles is packed with gifts for the reader, the gamer, and everyone in between. Plus, you'll encounter a dedicated owner who's passionate about each and every product. Delmarva Life's Katie Zerilli takes us there. Meet Jimmy the Janitor. He's dressed to impress. He's fierce with the sharp facial hair. He represents all things Craven's comic books and collectibles. Anybody that knows Cravens knows that character. It's kind of synonymous. A phenomenon that's actually a bit surprising to Cravens owner and founder, James Shelkett. It's been a really cool thing to, to see it grow from something that was just set into a live show into this living, thriving kind of character that's like the mascot of the company, uh, which is really cool to me. A company created by a collector for collectors. Basically, we, we focus on vintage comic books. Comics are our main thing, but we also have you know, trading cards, Funko Pop statues, video games, action figures, toys, movies, media, you know, a little bit of everything, tabletop stuff, sports memorabilia. When he says vintage comic books, he means it. Golden age comics, silver age comics, high end slabs, rarities, hard to find stuff, one of a kind items. Those are the things that really, you know, interest me personally. And those are the things that I try to get in the store. That personal interest started through a sibling when James was young. Just rummaging through the long boxes of my, my brother's stuff and finding those books and like, oh, this is so cool. That's, that's really what got me addicted. His obsession has made for opportunities for folks all over the area. Because James never knows exactly what's coming, the inventory inside this store is constantly changing. We're always getting different collections in and stuff and it's, it's been continuous every, every day or every week we have at least a few of them coming. The boxes are like treasure troves filled with rare finds. You don't see 50 of the same item, you see one of each item, uh, which you know obviously keeps people coming back because they know there's only gonna be one of that item. Sometimes all it takes is one item to create infinite joy. I love doing that. I love being able to help a customer find that, that special book for them or that key issue or something they had when they were a kid and it's got sentimental value, whatever it is, I like to help people find those specific books or items. It's not hard for him to do because he knows the customers that come here like family or friends. I can see customers before they walk in the door. I see them pull up. I can see their face through the glass. If I see them pull up, I know what they're going to buy before they walk in the door. And when folks walk in the door this holiday season, he's happy to hook them up. Obviously, huge discounts for Christmas leading up to Christmas, New Year's. On top of that, though, we have gift cards. So if you don't know what to get for your loved one, if you want to get something, but you're not sure what they like, what they collect, and you don't want to take the risk, you can always come in, ask for a recommendation, or you can get a gift card. That way you don't have to take that risk. You could also go see him at Ocean City Comic Con in a little less than two weeks. This will be his third straight year. Believe it or not, one of our best sellers at conventions is stickers, patches, and buttons, which blows my mind, but it is some of the biggest selling things. We sold over $200 in stickers. One of his most exciting moments recently was getting a famous Funnies comic in the store worth $7,500 that he'd eventually trade. He really never knows what's coming next, and he loves it. That's why I love doing this, because tomorrow, today, a Hawk One could walk in. You never know. You know what I mean? It's happened before. So um, you just got to wait for those things to happen and keep positive and, and you know, be patient. A store that might be even more rare than what's inside. Now, the Ocean City Comic Con is happening next Saturday, December 9th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. It takes place at the Roland E. Powell Convention Center. So you could probably get a lot of shopping done there. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. Didn't even think about that. Mm -hmm.